Turn City Verb Turn City Verb divided into two parts Mono Turn City Verb which has only one object direct object Di Turn City has two object direct and indirect object Let us start with the Mono Turn City Verb at first Mono Turn City Verb simply express an action and are followed by a direct object think or person that receives the action of the verb a sentence with transitive verb has a subject verb and a object a direct object is the person or thing that is acted upon by the subject so as I said before that monotransitive has subject whether it can be a person or thing how to find a direct object uh, sometimes we don't know how to find a direct object what question it has to answer so here the say the subject and verb followed by the question what or whom if you raise the question what or whom it will answer the question definitely it, the verb is transitive if it is not answer of course that is intransitive verb if that answer is the direct object then verb is transitive if there is no answer there is no direct object so verb is intransitive let us see examples three three is writing a letter here writing is a main verb a letter three is writing three what three writing a letter so it gives the answer letter so that is called a direct object this verb is transitive Kirtana is eating sandwich Kirtana what she is eating sandwich so it's answer the question what uh, here answer sandwich direct object second my father took me to the movies uh, this uh, took is a main verb me is an indirect object this is ditransitive uh, verb here I just added in the transitive verb okay uh, to the movies is the object direct object she left the keys on the table so here she left what the keys so it answered the question what answer keys so transitive verb please buy me a book here what buy a book transitive verb Suha sent gift from Trichy. Suha sent what gift? It's also transitive verb. Day transitive verb. Day transitive verbs can have two objects, which one is direct object and other one is indirect object. An indirect object indicates the person or thing that receives the direct object. Let us see examples. Jane is giving me an apple. So Jane is giving what an apple? Direct object. To whom? Me. Me is an indirect object. Sam gave the teacher a present. Sam. Sam gave what a present direct object to whom the teacher indirect object I'm bringing you a sandwich here I'm bringing what I I bring you sandwich direct object to whom you indirect object my mother taught me how to cook here my mother taught what cook how to cook direct object to whom me indirect object 
I got the kids their favorite toys. I got what favorite toys to whom the kids. So toys their favorite toys direct object the kids indirect object. He told us a romantic story. So he told what romantic story is a direct object uh, us to whom us indirect object. Intensitive verb. Intensitive verbs also express an action but are not followed by a direct object. Prepositional phrases or adverbial phrases are often after an intensity verb. Instead of direct object, you can see prepositional phrases ad as well as adverbial phrases after intensity verb. Example, arrive, die, fall, go, laugh, sleep, smile, stay, etc. Examples Sri is sleeping on the table. Here, sleeping is intransitive verb because it doesn't answer the question what. So, here you can see the prepositional phrases on the table. So, it's intransitive verb. Kitana is smiling at me. So, Kitana is smiling what? No answer. So here you can see the prepositional phrases at me. So this verb is intransitive. Next, she is walking to the office. Here walking is intransitive verb because it, it doesn't answer the question what or whom. But you can see the prepositional phrases to the office. The door opened slowly. Here, the door opened intensitive verb because it doesn't answer the question. But instead of direct, uh, sorry, instead of answer the question, here it tells the adverbial phrases slowly. Here, so the door opened slowly. Here, adverbial phrases. That is called intensitive verb. The train arrives at 3 p.m. Here arrives intensity uh, verb because it follows by prepositional phrases at 3 p.m. I have to leave soon. Here to leave is intensity verb because it follows by adverbial phrases.